lovely people. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me. I hope you all are doing well. I want to talk about um, why narcissists pretend to be other people and send email messages, call you from different phone numbers, send you text messages, spoof emails. I mean, you know, requests on social media. Why do they do this? And through all of this, they are not being themselves. They're always making up some different name and pretending that they're this man or this woman or, you know, it's something weird. Some of you feel like maybe they're just trying to find out what you're doing and get the tea on you. But the more I think about it, I think there's something darker taking place. Of course there is. We're talking about narcissists. For one, they are lunatics. They're schizoid. They don't know who they are. They split frequently. They do this because this is what they've always done. They've always pretended to be someone else. And this is also why after leaving them and you see them again, you can't recognize them. You don't even know who they are. So while I thought maybe they're just sending messages to you or pretending to be these people to um, find out what's going on with you or toy around with your mind, I think they're splitting. I think they really in those moments think they're whoever they are reaching out to you. It is another one of their personalities, another one of their fake images. You notice when you guys would hang with their family, they were a different person around them. They were actually uncomfortable because, you know, at some point they don't want you to see them for who they are. So they kind of wiggle like worms around their family. But they're different around their family. They were different with their friends. I know the ex-sociopath was. He was different with his children, a different person on the phone with his ex-wife, and a different person when he was talking to me. And when I got a chance to talk to him for a few minutes after the breakup, I couldn't even recognize him. And so they split so much. When they're reaching out to you as these people, you've got to remember they are unstable creatures they are double minded creatures they have no loyalty to anything or anyone and this is why they can't keep up with lies they just tell lies but most people they surround themselves with don't care about them lying and they let them lie and just you know whatever they know they're lying but they're not reaching out because they care they're reaching out because they want a reaction from you. And they're using all of these, they're splitting and using all of these different personalities to do just that. If you study it, you probably probably can get to know who are the different creatures that reside in the mind of the narcissist that you knew. I know several accounts the sociopath has reached out to me under and I knew because there's always a little bit of something that lets you know it's that person. And I started thinking that, wow, you know, some of these accounts he has really built up. One he sent me and he was in the name of this man. His last name was Cain. And the guy has all these guns and stuff and had one on display. I guess it was supposed to be a threatening profile for me. You know, another one, again, I'll share that email below where he sent me um, a spoof, uh, sent me a message in a spoof account. And, you know, it's like, what in the world? I can't explain this with words. I call this schizoid, but you're evil. You're demonic. You're unstable in your mind. You're a double-minded man. That's why you're doing this. And you're a coward. They're cowards. So I wouldn't 
take it in too much. I just delete the stuff. I copy it, put it in a folder somewhere. If you're keeping documentation, you know, I'll do that. And I just keep it moving. Nobody has time to try to figure out what the lunatic is up to. Don't waste your time. Darkness and light can't mix. You're not supposed to keep company with these people. So when they start reaching out and stuff, just delete it. Just don't even entertain it. If they start coming to you in person and trying to pretend, you know, like they're different, call the police on them. Have them drag their butts off your property. Because we just don't have time for it. They are time wasters. They're, they've wasted enough of our time trying to figure them out and think about what they're doing. You can't figure them out. They're insane. And you're not. So you can't think like a, a person who is insane. Let them be insane and each, eat each other alive. Find company with people like you. I have determined, I'm trying to get to a place where I'm not even, you know, let's talk about where we're going, where we're heading, how we can be better people among each other. Because these narcissists don't deserve any more of our time, any more of us trying to figure them out. They just don't. That's the conclusion I come to. And I know how you feel, you know, and so I want to be fair. I know how it feels to try and figure out what in the hell happened. As my friend Danny <laughs> shared the other day, what happened? What was that? When you come out of that fog, you want to know, how did I end up with that person? Gross. But one bad apple can spoil the whole bunch. When you start to connect with darkness, it dims your light and your knowledge you know you start acting crazy but no more no more i hope my little rambling was helpful for you today god bless you all um when they start doing that crazy stuff and making those fake profiles and stuff just delete it don't even respond to it you know i had moments where i would respond just to be funny and i don't even do that anymore because i'm like this this dude here is a 42 year old man doing this you got to be crazy <laughs> they are crazy y'all crazy god bless you take good care of yourselves and take care of the people who love you